Welcome back everyone. Exercise, diet, and sleep. Three things that we should be prioritizing if we want to make a switch to a healthier lifestyle. Here today to discuss the importance of doing all these three things daily is Dr. Seema Sukas. Welcome back. Thank you. It is always so good to see you and I want to dive into these things that we know, especially this time of year, we know we want to check those off our list, but today you're going to actually tell us how to do that and how to do it in a way that's going to become a habit. So let's first talk exercise how does that factor into a healthier lifestyle and do we need as as much as maybe sometimes we think we do so exercise is important if you're exercising then you're reducing your risk for diabetes heart disease other health conditions so it is important but if it's intimidating, think about it as just movement. Yes. You want to move every day in some fashion, whether that's walking, dancing around the house, yeah. running a marathon, whatever works for you. Right. I love that. And then let's talk about the other important thing, which um, I think the older I get as a woman, the hormones factor in, sleep. <sighs> just getting a really good night's sleep. How can we incorporate some daily habits to ensure that we're doing that? Well, sleep is so important. It gives your body a chance to rejuvenate rejuvenate, gives your brain cells a chance to rest so you're geared up for the next day. So think about creating a habit of uh, what do you do before you go to sleep? You don't want to be thinking about work or thinking I about know. something that's going to be on your mind all night long. Keep a notepad by your bed. If, it, if you have things that are on your mind, jot them down so at least you have it. Right. So hopefully that'll help you sleep. And you want to have a regular time. You don't want to be getting up and going to sleep at different times. It makes it hard to make it a habit. Yes, just last night we were, we usually go to bed about 1030 and we stayed up a little later watching something this morning. We both felt so sluggish, <laughs> just that one hour. So yeah. be consistent, be consistent. And then how about some um, healthy examples of creative ways that we can you know make good healthy swaps it's so hard if we if we try and get too stringent with okay I'm just gonna eat you know bland fish and broccoli like what what can we do to make it a little bit more creative so certainly spices will help yes will help uh, whatever you're eating but think about the things that you're eating and be intentional right um, you know the mindless eating is what gets you into trouble I know. so think about you know starting the day off with a good breakfast and a good breakfast would include something that has protein and something that has fiber. So it could be eggs with some wheat toast. Yep. It could be oatmeal with some fruit. So think about different options and figure out what's going to work best for you. My mom does oatmeal and fruit every oh. morning. Every <laughs> morning. She doesn't get tired of it. <laughs> That's a good reason to listen to your mom. <laughs> exactly. And nuts. And yes, nuts. Yes, and protein absolutely. Too. All right. Now, tell me the truth. Water. How much do we really need? Do we need those uh, 64 ounces? The water is so important, oh, you know, okay. and you think about instead of thinking of 64 ounces, think about eight glasses of water a day. So, you know, it could be across a, a whole day. If you just think one glass at a time, uh, yeah. don't think about the big number. Think about where you can start. And if you're not drinking that much, that's okay, but start somewhere. Right. Don't give up because you think it's way too much. Yeah, doctor, my problem is I, I drink a lot of water the days I exercise, mm -hmm. but when I'm not exercising, I'm not drinking enough water. But the point is I sh should be exercising every day. <laughs> there we go. Yes. All right, something else. I um, try to get myself and the kids on a great vitamin regimen. Mm -hmm. True, good, helpful. It is helpful. Um, certainly, it's not a replacement for a good diet. Okay. Um, but it can be a supplement to what you're already eating. Um, if you have any questions about what kind of vitamins or how much of different ingredients, certainly you should check with your physician. But vitamins can be a good supplement to a, a healthy diet. Okay, excellent. And lastly, you, you mentioned exercise, and I want to make sure because a lot of people may be wondering about just getting up and moving, mm -hmm. as you mentioned earlier. Really talk about the benefits of just a daily 30 minute walk. Yeah, uh, that can be very helpful for your mind. It helps, again, helps your brain think clearer. Yeah. Um, it gives you a chance to uh, uh, manage your weight better. And you can certainly, again, reduce your risk of other kinds of uh, heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure. So it just makes you feel good at the end of the day. It sure does. I will tell you, just, um, you know, grab the dog and you both need the exercise. So why not? And I feel like especially with the last couple of years, the mental yes. aspect of what it does for us equally as important Absolutely. as the physical aspect. Absolutely. So thank you so much, doctor. It's always a pleasure. You have the most wonderful bedside manner. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I want to be her patient. Thank you so much thank for you. being here. These great tips, advice, and thank you to CareSource for sponsoring that segment.